in this video we are going to learn about archimedes principle before learning archimedes principle let us see here here you will find two figures where a block is there whose area is face area is a and depth is h capital h now in this position it is partially submerged and in this position it is fully submerged when it is partially submerged then height of h small h is under water so in both the cases if you see it is displaying some water and we can calculate that water when it is partially submerged it will be rho a and h this is the suppose rho is the density of liquid and here rho s is the density of solid so rho a h is the weight of the or mass of the liquid displaced and what will be its weight if you multiply it by g what what about the weight of the block this will be nothing but o s a into h into g correct and what about the weight of water or liquid displaced this will be nothing but o into a into h into g now when this block is basically in both the positions the block is in the floating condition floating condition these both are floating conditions so when it is floating like this it will experience pressure all around correct this horizontal pressure they will cancel out you said that but the pressure which is coming from the liquid from the on the lower face of the block this will give it give rise to a force and that is called buoyant force it will be like this here this will be here it will be acting a buoyant force will be acting like this and mass of the or weight of the block will be like this correct this is called fg so if we see like this here it will be fb and downward it is fg fg is nothing but your mg you can write or you can write no s a h 
correct what about fb fb is basically bind force the upward thrust is also called upward thrust this will be nothing but the weight of the liquid displaced and that is rho a h g if we take this figure this is figure number 1 and this is figure number 2 if we take this figure then for figure number 1 this is your rho a h g correct so what arpedis experience or what is this principle it says that when a body is fully or partially submerged in a liquid a bind force fb from the surrounding fluid acts on the body correct this we have seen the, the pressure due to the liquid which will act upward upward direction the force directed upward and has a magnitude equal to weight of the fluid that has been displaced by the so this force basically fb is nothing but this is equal to the liquid displaced by the block this is what you have to understand here in figure 2 what is the fb it is rho a h correct because the full height volume of the block we have taken because block will displace the water equal to its own volume now when fb and fg when they will be in equilibrium they will be in equilibrium when fg is equal to fb this is the equilibrium position and this is called floating so in a state of floating this fg that is weight of the object and the bind force that is upward thrust they must be equal to each other then only the object will float so in both these figures the object is floating correct So depending on on the density and you know, weight of the block, either it will be it will partially float, or it will fully submerged in a state of fully submerged. Correct. Now, what happens? When Fg is greater than fb then the object will just go down it will you will put the object inside the liquid and it will just go down and go to the bottom of the container or bottom of the lake or whatever it is correct because here your weight of the object is more than the upward thrust and when fg is less than fb then of course it will float like this so this is the equilibrium condition suppose any object is there 
where fg is less than fp. You put the object, suppose this is the object. In this object, this condition is there. By some force, you are putting the object here. When you release this object, then in that case, what will, what will happen? It will accelerate in the upward direction till it comes on the surface. So this is all about R D S principle. And here, one more thing is there. That is, apparent weight or apparent mass. Apparent, ma apparent weight Apparent way of any body or object in the liquid is equal to actual weight minus your FB. That means when Actual weight is actual weight is suppose ten newton and FB is eight newton. Then the object in the liquid inside the liquid it will weigh only two newton. This is the reason you feel the objects heavy in the air. But suppose if you lift that the same object inside the liquid, then you will feel it light because there is a buoyant force from the below, which is adding the lifting. That's why actual lifting becomes less. This is called apparent weight. When actual weight and FP both are equal, actual weight and apparent weight both are equal, then of course your apparent weight will be zero. So a floating body does not have any weight inside the liquid. You will not feel any weight. Of the object. So this is also very important apparent rate. Correct? So this is all about Archimedes principle.